pi every one. This is a unit uh, nine, secondary one. Unit nine is called uh, good education. And this is an example of good education. It says good education leads to better future. First of all, we will start with a new vocab or key vocab. We have the first word cruel and it means unkind and hurting others. And the example is the PE teacher is very cruel. He made us do much exercise. The second word is governess. A governess is a woman who teaches children in their home. For example, the governess who taught me was very intelligent. The next word is housekeeper. A housekeeper is a servant who looks after the whole house. For example, our housekeeper is very organized. The next one, servant. Servant is a person who works for people in their house. For example, the servant was sent away because he was dishonest. The last word in this list is an orphan. An orphan is a child whose parents are dead. For example, Ali is an orphan. He has no parents. The next one we have is collocations. Collocations are words that always come together. We have the first one, lose touch with. It means to stop having contact. When I say I, I lost touch with my best friend, it means that I no longer speak to him or have contact with him. The next one, make friends. It means to start a friendship with someone. The next one, do an online course. It means to study online. The last one, keep in touch with. It means to continue to have contact with someone. So the first and last one may be considered uh, uh, as uh, opposites. Okay, let's go to the next slide. We have also expressions and words from uh, your story. Uh, reach the window or the shelf. Tom is short. He can't reach the top shelf. The deck of the ship. All the, all the tourists were on the deck of the ship. Flat, flat means having a level surface. The table isn't flat. I can't do my homework on it. Shoulder it means the part of your body between your arms and your neck. Angie can't play basketball today because her shoulder is injured. Bandage it means a piece of cloth you put around and injure it. For example, Tom put a bandage on his wound. There is a mistake here. It's put not out. Tom put a bandage on his wound. Sorry for this mistake. Paddle. Paddle here is a verb. It means moving the paddles of the boat to make it move. And a paddle is a, a long piece of wood we move to make the boat uh, move. For example, I try to paddle the small boat alone. Shallow. Shallow means not deep. Ships can sail in shallow waters. Wreck. Wreck is a ship badly damaged and they can't be used again. They found gold and silver in the wreck of a Spanish ship. Mast. 
mast is a part of a ship. It's a tall pole which carries the sails on a ship. For example, the mast of the ship was broken due to a heavy, a very strong wind. So this is the end of our vocab. Let's go to our grammar or structure. And this is a YouTube link. You can watch a video about this grammar. We have two pieces of grammar or two structures uh, in this unit. First of all, we will start with uh, the past symbol passive. This is a picture from your student book. Okay? So to form the past symbol passive, use the verb to be in the past. We, of course, we know that verb to be in the past gives us was or where. And after we put was and where, or after we put was or where, we add the past participle of the verb. For example, Jane Eyre, this is the name of the story, Jane Eyre was written in 1847. Rich families often employed governors. Of course, the first example, this is past simple passive. But the, the next one is uh, an active sentence of the past. It's not passive. Okay? So here we have, from your student book also, we have this exercise. It says, complete the sense with the past simple passive form of the verbs in the box. For example, number one, children from rich families were taught at home by a uh, governess. Number two, I, a lovely big cake on my last first day. So the answer will be, I was given. I was given. Given is a past participle of give. Example number three. The box into the classroom by a few of the boys. So it will be the box were taken into the classroom by a few of the other of the boys. We have the bus that will take, it will be taken. In 19th century England, many children were sent we are sent to boarding school. So we put where, because children are plural, and the past participle of send, it will be sent. The last one, <coughs> we were asked to help clean the garden outside the school. I think everything is clear now. Let's go to the next one. Uh, we have also the difference between the past simple tense and the past perfect tense. And this link, this YouTube link, can, uh, you can watch and uh, listen to detailed explanation or illustration. Uh, what is the difference between the past simple and the past perfect? Uh, first of all, we will start with the form. We form the past symbol by adding e due to a verb, and we have, you know, we have some irregular verbs like go, uh, the past of it is went. What about the form of the past perfect? It's formed by <coughs> had, and we put the past participle after it. Okay? So, what about the use? The use of the past simple tense is to express actions that start and end in the past and the past habits. For example, you traveled to London a year ago. This is an action starting and ending in the past. I went to a new school last week. It's also an action that started and ended in the past. My father used to walk to school when he was young. This is a past habit. Okay? So these are the uses of the past self. What about the past perfect? Okay. We use the past perfect to refer to an action that happened before another action. So, we have two actions in the past. The first one is 
past perfect. So when we want to indicate that this is the first action, we put it in the past perfect. And the second one is past simple. Jane went to Thornfield Hall after they had offered her a job there. We didn't reach a solution to the problem until we had discussed it. So the first action, we discussed the problem first, then we reached a solution. Okay? You can listen to detailed explanation when you watch uh, this YouTube. Okay? Let's go to the next one. We have this exercise about a uh, bust symbol or bust uh, perfect. Number one is answered. I had read the book before I saw the perfect. So the first action is reading the book, then I saw the perfect. Number two, Mrs. Reed angry with Jane because she argue with Joe. The answer will be Mrs. Reed was angry with Jane because she had argued with John. Uh, of course, we know that because is followed by the cause, and the cause is the first action uh, that resulted in a result. Number three. Mona, remember, she watched a TV program about online learning last week. So it will be, the answer will be, Mona remembered she had watched a TV program. So first she watched the TV program and then she remembered it. Number four, I not play football before I meet Hunt. We have before here, it's followed by the second action. So not play, it will be the first action. The answer will be, I had not played football before I met Hunt. Okay. So this is the end of unit nine. And we have here general exercise. Choose the correct answer, number one. Mr. and Mr. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Osman employed a governess or a housekeeper to teach their children at home. Of course, you know the answer, it will be a governess because uh, governess teaches, okay? Number two, Hania never knew her parents because she is a or an, of course the answer will be orphan because an orphan is the one who has no parents. The next one, that bully was very to the smaller boys. Of course you know a bully, so a bully is always cruel person, so the answer will be cruel. Number four, the housekeeper or orphan showed the guest to her room. Of course, it will be the housekeeper because she is responsible uh, for the whole house. Number five, Jane Eyre sent or was sent to live at Lowood School. Jane Eyre was sent, her aunt sent her to Lowood School, so it will be passive. She was sent to live at Lowood School. The next one, a brave young man, a brave young man saved or was saved the old man from the fire. So it will be saved, the brave young man is the one who saved the old man. Number seven, Ahmed told or was told not to arrive late. We can imagine that his boss or his teacher or whatever or whoever told him not to arrive late. So Ahmed was told not to arrive late. The next one, unluckily, my car didn't repair or wasn't repaired yesterday. The answer will be wasn't repaired because a car can't repair itself. Someone will repair it. Number nine, Adol 
was taught or taught by Jane Eyre. So Jane Eyre is the one who taught Adele. So Adele was taught by Jane Eyre. We have this exercise, the last one, it's translation. We have this passage, it's also from your student book. GPS, which stands for Global Position System, is a radio navigation system. This helps land, sea, and airline users determine their location easily. The next one. People with disabilities are useful citizens, although they have special needs. They can use their different skills to work with others to make progress on projects. Uh, of course, you can do it uh, alone, at home, okay? We have also uh, another exercise. It's translated into English. We have these. Of course, you don't need to read it for you. We have two uh, pieces of translation. Uh, this is the last of unit nine. God be with you, and I hope you benefit from this piece of work. Thank you.